you know, being fake, not understanding. But I think some of y'all be understanding. Y'all be trying to be comedians, you know, trying to be funny on real niggas. You know what I'm saying? I'm opening up a lane for real niggas, for independent, for the underdogs. You know what I'm saying? Like, I speak for y'all, dog. So if I'm speaking for y'all, either y'all gonna stand with me, dog, or watch me go up. You know what I'm saying? Simple as that. Like, I, I, I'm I'm holding it down because there's more people that be wanting to be transparent, but niggas be worrying about being politically correct because they feel like, oh, I might get canceled. Man, can't no motherfucker cancel you but yourself, dog. If you invest in yourself like I did, I got my podcast set up, right? My banner. You know, y'all see how my shit looking. Nigga, I ain't out to do none of this shit. Nigga, I read. Nigga, I research. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I went, did my one, two, and three folds, nigga. You feel me? Yeah. That's what I did. Because that probably getting on y'all nerves. Y'all seeing all that constantly going across the screen. That's what I did. I did my one tools. Shout out to Drink Champs, man. You know what I'm saying? When they give you your flowers, they give you a package. They give you a care package. You know, they gave me the hat. They gave me the shirt. You know, and they gave me my flowers. You know what I'm saying? And these flowers don't die, man. You know, they last for like 10 years, you know. And um, it's been long overdue, bro. You feel me? And I want to say respect to um, Noriega, man. Respect to DJ EFN. You know, them dudes, real dudes, bro. You feel me? They some real ones, man. And um, hold on. Hold on. They some, they some, they some real ones, bro. And, let me take these other ones out because they still on. Um... All right, there we go. They some real ones, man. Because y'all see the backdrop. Yeah, the backdrop, man. Shout out to the backdrop. <laughs> my wife, man. My wife. My wife got me that backdrop made. You know, one thing about a good woman, dog. Man, appreciate the super chat, man. Somebody just sent me... A donation, man. Appreciate that, man. Y'all can send donations, bro. That donations help, you know, me with the lights, man. You know, it helped me continue to buy equipment in here. You feel me? All this equipment I bought, man, out of my pocket. You feel me? I spent like $25,000. If y'all, if I show y'all one day, y'all be able to see everything that's around here. But I invested in myself. When I realized nobody wasn't going to do nothing for me, bro, I had to start doing it for myself. And like I was saying, my wife, right? My wife, did you throw up from drinking? Yeah, I threw up from drinking. We're going to get to that. I'm about to tell y'all all about everything that went on. Shout out to my wife. Though. I got to give an acknowledgement to my wife. You know what I'm saying? Um, My wife, bro, she just been so, so supportive, bro, since I was in jail. You know what I'm saying? Like, starting the YNT, right? I was in jail, nigga. Attempted murder on the police. You feel me? And my wife was there like... I had a, 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 a misdemeanor charge or something. You feel me? She never did bail out on me, dog. She never bailed out on me. She believed. She believed that I'm coming home. Like, you know what I'm saying? She never did bail out on me. So, you know, we was like planning on when I get out. So, of course, I went in as a rapper. But I was like, man, when you when you get that time or when you, when you get in jail, you go to thinking. You feel me? So, I was like. Man, I'm getting older. Now, I wasn't number 22 at the time, you know what I'm saying? But back then, I was like, I'm getting older, you feel me? What can I do other than rap, you feel me? Because they kept on saying, the rapper, the rapper, the rapper. That's what got me in jail, being a rapper, right? So I was like, damn, what else can I do, you know what I'm saying? So we came up with Young and Thuggin', my Young and Thuggin' album, right? So we were like, nah, Young and Thuggin'. That ain't that ain't gonna be corporate. You know, you gotta think about, you know, other things and branding and this and this and that. So we were like, well, why don't we name it YNT Empire? You know what I'm saying? YNT could be like young and talented, whatever they wanna think it be, but it could be young and thugging for the people that know. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, well, you know what? That makes sense. So we started building on YNT Empire. 
Then YNT Empire, putting the thugging with it, thugging, taking hardship, using God's gift in spite of negativity. We started to clean it up and brand it in a way where it could be um, marketed, you know what I'm saying? And not be on no ghetto street, you know what I'm saying? None of that bullshit, you feel me? Because at the end of the day, even though I'm a street nigga, I still don't want to be known just as no ghetto hood you know what I'm saying? None of that because, man, I know down the line, I'm going to be wanting to do things for, for the kids, for the youth. You know what I'm saying? And I have to have something that they can relate to. But at the same time, I got to have something with a message that they can have inspiration and be motivated to, you know, do better in life. So I was thinking about all that and my wife was there the whole time, bro, you know. So for her to go get me this banner, she just surprised me with it. And we went and picked it up and I saw how big it was. She didn't know it was this big, but, you know, she spent a couple hundred dollars on this banner, bro, so I could take this banner. This I put that, this could be a red carpet banner, a picture banner, and a concert. Nigga, I could, we could make money. This is an investment, and it ain't going to tell because it's that, that thick kind of whatever kind of um, um, material it is. You know what I'm saying? That thick, thick plastic. And it's, you know, how it's, how it's in there. That going to last forever. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out to my wife. And she put all my brands on there. She put the YNT Empire. She put my Hot Boy Turk on there. She put the Big Thuggin' Podcast, which is my future, baby, what I'm doing right now. Because podcast is the motherfucking future. If y'all don't know, something wrong with y'all. Podcasting is the future. If you a person that's in business and you can talk, you can control your own narrative. I get that from Donald Trump. I watched how he won that campaign, how he got elected. You know, he controlled the narrative in the media, dog. You know what I'm saying? So I realized that my name was either not spoken on. You feel me? When 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 they had a little interviews and people might ask them something about me, they uh kind of like shun me like like I ain't shit. You feel me? And when motherfuckers do that, bro, I be watching them interviews just like y'all watching. <clears throat> and I be like, damn, nigga rocking like that? Nigga rocking like that? Like, like, like I did a nigga something, right? So I'm like, damn, what it is? You feel me? So I'm like, I realize that when, when you ain't, when a nigga feel like you ain't beneficial to him, man, you out of sight, out of mind. So I was like, well, maybe... You know, that's how that's how a nigga feel, right? So I like, you know what? I gotta start doing things for me. You feel me? And I've been working. That's why y'all see, bro, like I'm so passionate about everything that I do, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? My team is the best. You feel me? I got people behind me that that that, you know, who fuck with me because of me. Who fuck with me because of me, right? You know, and none of that other funny bunny ass shit. You know what I'm saying? People ain't just rocking with me just because I'm who I am. You know, and that shit mean a lot. You know, and it be the small motherfuckers that make a big impact in your life. People who you be expecting gonna make an impact in your life, man, they don't be nowhere to be found. You know what I'm saying? Man, listen, man. Y'all better, y'all better take heed to them people who really, really, really support y'all. I don't give a fuck how small they may seem. Man, respect them people, man. I don't give a fuck if they don't got a dollar. Respect them people, man. Because one thing about God, God will work through the smallest, weakest vessel, bro. Because he gonna want you to know it's him that's doing it. And you won't give no man the, 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 the glory for it. You see what I'm saying? So entertain those people, bro. You know, be good to the people that's loyal to you. You know what I'm saying? Look out for them people that's loyal to you. And stop running after people that's not. I don't care how much they got. You feel me? I don't give a fuck how much they got, how much you might think you could get from them. Because people are string you along, making you think that if you keep on rocking with them, they going to they gonna fuck with you. Man, that shit way out, man. You got to grow up and grow out and understand when a nigga stringing you along. You know what I'm saying? Killing time and not really trying to let you shine. You feel me? 